All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Well, fellas, the beta is in the books. Well, we all know it's not really a beta, right? The demo. The demo for Modern Warfare 2022 is in the books. And you guys all saw my last video. I wasn't really feeling it. Impossible to really enjoy or judge this game uh, in the state it was in with the way the lobbies were. And not being able to unlock attachments for my gun. I mean, I played the beta, but I feel like I didn't play it. Because what I played in the beta, what in the world just happened? My man, why is every death some nerd bunny hopping? Tragic nightmare. Hey, look, look at all the bunny hops. <laughs> I mean, this, <laughs> this entire beta was a tragic nightmare for me, fellas. I couldn't unlock no attachments for the 74U. Couldn't unlock no attachments for my shotgun cheese. I mean, why put weapons in the game that you can't have attachments for, man? Why only give attachments to the people who pre-order? Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's called smart business. All right, all right. Sorry, there's no way I was pre-ordering Modern Warfare. I will never pre-order Call of Duty again unless they do some drastic changes. And speaking of drastic changes, guys, uh, Infinity Ward has addressed some of the beta feedback. Infinity Ward addresses Modern Warfare 2 changes arriving at launch. Footstep audio, visibility, and more. I mean, really, dude? This is hilarious to me and sad and pathetic at the same time. You guys been making COD games for, what, 20 years now? How is footstep audio and player visibility still a thing? I mean, you figured they'd have it down pat by now. You, you figure after all the years of these guys making Call of Duty games, they would have a universal preset for footsteps in a multiplayer. Here it is. It's perfect. It's not too loud. It's not too quiet. These are the footstep audio. This is a footstep audio preset. Some COD games had perfect uh, footsteps. I think Black Ops 3 probably had the best bass footstep audio. I don't know. Drop down in the comment section, fellas. W what COD game had the perfect foot? What, what COD game got footsteps right? I thought Black Ops 3 was great. Oh, player visibility. How is this even a thing? Aren't graphics supposed to get better as the years go on? Shouldn't being able to see players get easier? As the years go on, pl player visibility is a thing and more. We all know what the more is, fellas. Skill-based matchmaking, disbanded lobbies. We're going to get to that. Uh, so with the Modern Warfare 2 beta now behind us, the devs will look to make changes to the game ahead of launch. Yeah, the game launches in one month. And considering it took these fools, what, six months? In, in Modern Warfare 2019, it took them six months to put a weapon inspect in the game, <laughs> a feature that everybody liked that they got rid of for some bizarre reason. Yo, I don't understand this, man. Whatever Infinity Ward or, or any Call of Duty developer innovates in a way that we all enjoy or, or we like, we never see it again. But when they innovate something that's unnecessary or something that we hate, it becomes a staple of the series, <laughs> like disbanding lobbies and no red dots on the minimap, stuff that doesn't add anything to the game, stuff that nobody asked for, but it becomes a staple. But whenever they do something cool, like pro perks, or uh, you guys remember Advanced Warfare? You could customize your kill streaks. I mean, dude, customizable kill streaks was the coolest thing ever, bro. Look at look at this. I, I hated Advanced Warfare, but this was dope. I mean, look at this. Here's, this was a remote turret. Look at this, man. For an extra hundred score, you could slap some rockets on there or some direct energy. Replaces a minigun or rocket turret for a laser beam. You could have a laser turret. You could have it rippable. You could run around with the head of the, of the remote sentry. I mean, I never really played Advanced Warfare too much. Just because it was too crazy for me. But um, this was cool. I, I can't hate. And you could even say, you know what the hell with kill streaks? I'm going to take all them perks. I'm, I'm going to take all them points for streaks and use them on perks. So you could kind of have like a poor man specialist. Yo, imagine if they put this kill streak system, right? Where you could customize your kill streaks or you could take the points and, and throw it towards perks. Imagine if they took the Advanced Warfare uh, 13 point system with the customizable kill streaks and the COD Ghost perks and merge those two into one game. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> that would be the best COD ever. But we've never seen the COD Ghost perk system again. And we've never seen, well, I guess there was a customizable kill streak in uh, Infinite Warfare. But again, that's another COD game that I quit in the beta. <laughs> I quit that game in the beta. But man, this is just hilarious to me, fellas. So um, following the conclusion of my Warfare 2 beta, Infinity Ward will have approximately one month to produce the final product. That's the funniest thing ever. We play the final product, believe me. Given the player feedback and data accumulated from the beta, Infinity Ward will focus on getting Modern Warfare 2 ready for launch. Again, took these guys six months to put weapon inspect in a game. Okay, I don't, I don't know what you guys think they're going to do in one month <laughs> for Modern Warfare 2022, but 
Uh, best of luck, man. I really do. So, footstep audio balance. With Dead Silence as a field upgrade, a new ninja perk in Modern Warfare 2, one of the biggest player complaints from the beta was loud footstep audio. Infinity Ward acknowledged it and then made changes for Weekend 2 of the beta. Uh, I didn't really play the beta in Weekend 2, so I didn't even notice it. Now the devs confirm there are more changes on the way. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> tragic nightmare. This tragic nightmare, dude. What a nerd this guy was. <laughs> I can't body it, homie. Uh, of course, he'd be the guy to try and parkour up that window. I didn't even know you could do that. The dudes are parkouring and bunny hopping all over the place in my lobbies, broskies. It's awful, man. So <laughs> the devs confirmed that more changes are on the way prior to launch as they continue to balance Modern Warfare 2's footstep audio. It's like every day is their first day, man. Every day is their first day in the studio. Modern Warfare player visibility, another thing. How is visibility an issue? Following footstep audio, visibility was another major concern for players as they found it difficult to spot enemies as well as different foes from friendlies without name tags. Yeah, man, it's super hard to see people in this game, dude. It's super frustrating. That's why, man, I'm going right to free-for-all. I could to deal with no annoying-ass teammates to carry. I don't got to worry about who's on my team, who's not on my team. I'm going straight to free-for-all, bro. So none of this stuff will really matter to me once the actual game drops. But for all the rest of you guys who are playing, especially you hardcore players, I feel for you. I don't know how you're going to play hardcore. I mean, you, you can't tell who's on your team and who isn't. Nope. The devs made changes to improve visibility when the players fired the... That's another thing. When you fire your gun in this game, the muzzle flash is so big, you can't even see who you're shooting at. And it's likely they'll continue to tweak the visuals, uh, the visual issue ahead of launch. However, they did confirm that they'd be looking for a solution that's not solely the traditional nameplate appearing over other uh, players' heads. Listen, just do what Black Ops 4 did. Put friendlies in blue and put the enemies in red. How hard is that to, how hard is that to do? Have like some glowing visuals on them. The friendlies are wearing blue or green, and the enemies are wearing, you know, whatever. Um, you, 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 you. <laughs> what? Yo, I was I was bugging out in this beta, man. I don't know how I lost that. <laughs> I don't know oh how I lost God. that gunfight. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. How uh, how the Xbox or, or PS4 or PS5, excuse me, uh, picks up your voice. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know I was picking up my own voice while I was playing this. But, man, footstep audio uh, <laughs> and uh, player visibility. And then they talk about disbanding lobbies, the, the final thing they're talking about addressing here, which they need to address much more than this. But these are three major issues here. Uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 uh, disbanding lobby solution. Uh, SBMM and disbanding lobbies was another major talking point among the players who tested the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Players are crying out for traditional Call of Duty lobbies to stick together after each match, as opposed to disbanding. Yes, yes, that's what we want. But according to Infinity Ward, uh, skill-based matchmaking won't work if we can't disband the lobbies. The hell with skill-based matchmaking, bro? Seriously. I mean, look. Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this sweaty bitch. ass beta, man. 75, 70. I Dragon can't stand Team Deathmatch, fellas. Bitch. I'll never play Team Deathmatch when this game drops. I'll go straight to free for all. <laughs> the the, life the lobby balancing, not being able to see people. Pussy. Nah, give me my free for all lobbies, please. Well, I don't know why they didn't put free for all in the beta, to be honest, man. Free for all is such a chill, fun game mode. I don't know how you solo players play team game modes in this. With the way the, the, the team balancing is and not being able to tell who's on your team and who isn't. I mean, free for all should be a much more popping game mode. I don't know why it isn't. Like, there should be a lot of people in free for all, especially if you're a solo player. But anyway, guys, uh, Infinity Ward, man. I mean, is every day your first day in the office? After all these years, you still can't figure out a footstep audio? You still can't figure out player visibility? Disbanding lobbies that everybody hates in the world? Like, my God, there's nobody that likes disbanding lobbies. I mean, if I don't like a lobby, I'll just leave. It ain't hard to rage quit in COD. We all do it. People leave lobbies all the time. You don't need to disband the lobbies. Oh, my God. But anyway, fellas, so, uh, yeah, like I said, man, there's way more issues than that. But those are the issues that Infinity Ward is actually working on. And, uh, yeah, um, we got this game for two years. Like I said, year one of Modern Warfare 2022, uh, I'm expecting it to be an absolute cluster. But year two of Modern Warfare 2022, you already know, it'll be good because I'll have the whole year to beta test and patch the game. I'm telling you guys. Plus, in year two, we're getting all the Modern Warfare uh, the real Modern Warfare 2, 2009, we're getting all those remade maps to keep the, you know, keep the game fresh, keep it alive till Treyarch swoops in, uh, and hopefully makes a good game this time around. One that does not uh, boring as hell, Cold Snore, oh my god, Treyarch, whoa, I mean, I already know, Pandemic Cod, you took over for Sledgehammer, I know, I'm gonna give you a pass. You better wow us in 2024, Treyarch, please. I, I wouldn't even hate if you brought back the jetpacks, make it just like Black Ops 3. If they came out with another Cod like Black Ops 3, I would be very pleased. 
Uh, but anyway, fellas, I, like I said, I don't know if Call of Duty will ever be fun again, but uh, <laughs> it will definitely be better in year two. So year one is going to be rough. They're going to be tweaking stuff and adjustments and patches. And you already know how COD is, man. The, the whole first year is an absolute crap show. Year two of Call of Duty is always better for every COD game. Every COD game they've ever made, the, the second year of the game always got better after they're done patching it and fixing it and tweaking it. But uh, it's like every day is a first day, man. I mean, how do you not have footsteps down? How do you not have player visibility? I mean, how is player visibility even an issue? I mean, do you want us to be totally confused out there? I can tell by the map making you do. <laughs> Maybe that's all part of the plan. They don't want us to know. Is that my teammate? Is that the other guy? They don't want us to know. They want the lobbies to be as chaotic as possible so everybody runs around and goes 18 and 18 every game. That's according to their statistics. So running around, sweating to death for 10 minutes to go 18 and 18 is, is good for player retention. It's good for fun. I, hey, it's a crazy world we live in, man. Maybe they're right. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even play this game anymore. Straight up. It's just not fun. I, I don't know how you guys do it, to be honest, but I'm glad you do or else none of y'all will be here. <laughs> Anyway, all right, fellas, <laughs> that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's hope Infinity Ward can pull out some kind of miracle in uh, one month, even though I doubt it. But like I said, uh, if you can make it through year one, I think year two of this game will actually be pretty decent. All right, fellas, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.